Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today, I'm going to show you how to get HDMI working on your RG350 or your RG350M. Yes, you heard that right. We now have HDMI support on these handhelds. They were shipped with an HDMI port, but it never worked. But we finally have an update, and I do want to mention that this is a beta update, but it's been working really well. There are a few emulators you need to adjust some settings in to get sound and speed right over HDMI, but overall, it's a pretty decent update. But before we get started, I do want to give a big shout out to Handheld Greedy over here on YouTube, or Greedy Handheld. He posts a lot of awesome videos about the RG350, and he's the one who turned me on to this update. I'm going to leave a link to his YouTube channel in the top of the description. You definitely need to check him out. So in order to get this working, you will need to be on official RG350 or RG350 firmware. I have not tested this with Rogue firmware, but I'm sure now that this is out, they will implement that into their newest firmware build, so you might just want to wait a little while. But if you're on original RG350 firmware, we can go ahead and get started. All right, so let's go ahead and get this HDMI update installed. It's actually really simple to do. In the description, there are two links, one for the RG350M, which is the metal version, and one for the regular old RG350. Make sure you choose the correct one. Like I mentioned, this is beta as of making this video, but it's been working really well. I'm using the RG350M, so I'm gonna use this file here. We're gonna extract it. And inside of here, we're gonna have the RG350M update OPK. This is what we need to put on our SD card. I'm going to insert my SD card. This is my external SD card that I usually store my ROMs on. And real quick, there is an important note in here that you need to read over. Some of these emulators may run a little too fast or a little too slow, or the sound might be messed up over HDMI, but most of the fixes are listed in here, so that's a very important document that you need to read through. I'm going to snap this over to the left-hand side, and we're going to go ahead and open this up. Now in this folder, I don't have another folder called apps, but we can create one. Just right click, new folder, and name it apps. We need to place the new update OPK right in here. Give it a little time to transfer over. Then we can remove the SD card, place it back in the RG350, and we'll start the update from there. All right, so now we need to install the update. I always like to do a quick reboot. Sometimes I run into errors when I don't, but you can try it without. I just hit the reset button. I am plugged into power just to make sure I have enough battery power to finish this update. From the main menu, we're gonna move over to applications, which I was already on, and we're gonna scroll down until we find a new icon called OS Update. We're gonna press A to enter this menu. From here, you can check the date of the update up top here. But we have two options, we can cancel or update. Make sure you read through this. If you're ready to update, highlight update and press start. It's gonna start the update process. This can take anywhere from two to seven minutes, so just be patient with it. As long as you're not getting an error, it's working correctly. Once the update is completed, we'll see a screen that looks like this. It's highlighted on OK and we're gonna press start. The system is automatically going to reboot, and then we have the new update installed. Now, in order to get HDMI up and running properly, we need to enable it in the settings. All right, now that we have the update installed, we're just going to head back to Applications. We're going to go to the GX menu, and at the very bottom, you'll see an option called HDMI. It's probably off now. Go ahead and turn it on. We can hot swap this HDMI like it sits, but usually I turn it off when I'm not using it. Unfortunately, the RG350 uses mini HDMI and you might have to get an adapter, but it does work well with a big screen TV. I just have this little portable monitor that's easy to record. And there it is. We now have HDMI enabled on our RG350 or our RG350M. Make sure you choose the correct file for the system you have. If you have the old orange and black version, use the RG350 file. If you have the metal version, use the RG350M file. And remember, if you're experiencing any sound issues or speed issues over HDMI, read through the README that came with the file you downloaded. It's got a lot of information in there on how to fix certain emulators if you're having issues over HDMI. But yeah, overall, it works much better than I ever thought it would. It's about time we have HDMI out on this. After all, this was shipped with an HDMI adapter and it was touted as having HDMI out. So it's really good to see that we have this option now. But that's pretty much it for this video. I really appreciate you watching. And HDMI is hot swappable, so you can unplug it. You'll just press a button, and it'll come back to the built-in screen for the RG350. Plug it back in, and you'll have HDMI out. 
Don't forget to check out Greedy Handheld's YouTube channel. Link is in the description. He posts a lot of great stuff with these little mini handhelds. But like always, thanks for watching.